Secondly, or thirdly, we also found that most of the people who were in custody were not represented. There was no equality of arms. They could not defend themselves. We made a recommendation to the Attorney General that there was a need to operationalize the legal aid services. Because when people are not represented, they are not able to move through the system. And honorable members and Mr. Speak and Mr. Speaker, sir, I would invite you people to visit our pretrial detentions. We talk about rights. We talk about the rights of the arrested, the rights of the accused persons, the rights of the detained person, but we have not made it tangible. Because if you visit these institutions, you will wonder what we, were, we are as Kenya. None of the people charged with corruption of cases was in pretrial detention. It is only the poor. They have no food, they have no classes, cases take very long, and most people who should be in custody are walking outside. And most people who should be outside are in custody. There is a need for us to reform the criminal justice sector. We also observed that cases were taking very long and there was a need for us to expedite those cases through the system. As a result of that, DPP Haji, myself and the office tried to come up with initiatives within our power. And that is why we came up with the decision to charge guidelines. The decision to, and that is one of my biggest achievement, our biggest achievement, the decision to charge guidelines is supposed to regulate how we make the decision to charge so that we see if the system, petty cases do not go to court. We also came up with the diversion guidelines and the diversion guidelines is supposed to attend to alternatives to prosecutions because we realize that not everybody who is charged with an offense should go through the system. And that was said by Sir Shawcross, the Attorney General of England in 1950, that not in all cases where you have evidence people should go through court. So we came up with a diversion guideline to assist us to see the cases. What is the challenge that the DPP could not deal with that the Attorney General should deal with? A prosecutor could decide to divert, but where are the structures to divert to? Because if I have young people who have been brought to me and I realize that they can be rehabilitated, I need a rehabilitation center. I need counseling services. How many of our counties have rehabilitation centers and have counseling facilities? Therefore, our action is in futility. Prosecutors are being accused of taking many cases to court. It is because we have initiatives, but we need other structures of government to assist us to realize those initiatives. Good point.